सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दैट चैप्टर डिस्कवरिंग टू द सागा कंटिन्यूज सो आई विल जस्ट गिव अ शॉर्ट री कैप ऑफ द लास्ट क्लास दैट वी हैड यू नो दैट द सीटी स्कैन मशीन स्कैन द बॉडी ऑफ किंग तुतन खमुन एंड इट क्रिएटेड सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड एक्स रेज इन क्रॉस सेक्शंस तुत्स हेड वॉज स्कैन इन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू एम स्लाइसेज टू रिकॉर्ड टाइनी डिटेल्स सो दीज पीपल अ टीम ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी फॉरेंसिक्स एनाटोमी एक्सपर्ट्स एंड स्टार्टेड एग्जामाइनिंग द सीक्रेट्स ऑफ द ग्रेप दैट हैड बीन प्रोटेक्टेड बाई फ्लाइंग गॉडसेस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो दिस वॉज डन द प्रीवियस डे सो ऑन दैट नाइट द नाइट ऑफ द स्कैन so on that night of the scan that is on the night of the scan the workmen carried tut from the tomb in his box so the workmen that were engaged there they carried tutankhamun's dead body from the tomb to his box like pall bearers they climbed a ramp and a flight of stairs into the swirling sand outside then rose on a hydraulic lift into the trailer that held the scanner 20 minutes later two men emerged printed for an office nearby and returned with a pair of white plastic fans the million dollar scanner had quit because of sand in a cooler fan curse of the pharaoh joked a guard nervously eventually the substitute fans worked well enough to finish the procedure after checking that no data had been lost the technicians turned to it over to the workmen who carried him back to his tomb less than 3 hours after he was removed from his coffin the pharaoh again rested in peace where the funerary priests had laid him long ago now let's explain this particular part okay i am reading this part you know it already i underlined it for you so on that night uh, when the tutankhamun's dead body was to be scanned the mummy of tutankhamun was to be scanned on that night what they did is they took out tutankhamun's body okay and they carried him climbed up a ramp okay and uh, by hydraulic lift you know what hydraulic lift is okay a uh, platform a lift which actually it held the scanner okay so suddenly after a few moments the scan began okay and uh, after a few moments two men came out from there and they ran to the office nearby and returned with a pair of plastic fans so what happened actually because it is desert okay and there is fine grains of sand very fine grains of sand okay i will show you the images just wait let me just explain it okay so uh, what happened the fans that are connected with the ct scan machine they actually malfunctioned because Uh, of the sand and probably heat okay so someone joked that this is the curse of the pharaoh okay which means that your fans malfunction because pharaoh cursed them okay so uh, this was the entire process it was a very uh, lengthy process they had to take out the body of the pharaoh and then they put it into the scanner okay and uh, they scanned it part by part okay with each and every detail so that uh it is helpful for further research okay and after that fan malfunctioning when they gave some substitute fans substitute fans means uh extra fans okay uh, to cool that machine because ct scan machine it is a, a very high capacity x ray machine so it is supposed to become warm uh, very hot indeed so because of radiation so uh, that's why it needs fans to be cooled down so when the main fans were malfunctioning okay they uh, went out okay then substitute fans or extra fans were used to cool down that machine however the procedure continued and after checking they found that no data was lost there was all the data was there okay and it was working fine and they finally after completion of 
After completion of the process of scanning, they turned the body of Tutankhamun to the workmen who again carried him back to the tomb of Tutankhamun where the coffin was kept. Okay, and there the pharaoh rested again in peace so that no one will touch him again and where he laid for so long ago. So, where the priests laid him in his time, now the body of Tutankhamun is kept there. We will be having some uh, word meanings here. There are some new words. You can see that here is a word like Paul bearers. Paul bearers means the person who carry a coffin. So the body of Pharaoh was taken out from the tomb as if he is taken to a, to a funeral. Okay, funeral means you know that the last cremation of a person when a person dies. Okay, the coffin is carried by. Uh, six people or eight people or four people okay so that who the person who bears that coffin are called pall bearers in english okay so swirling means spin or twist you will find this word just here okay swirling sand outside okay so swirling means twisted design or sand okay hydraulic lift means lift that uses a machine i will show you the images lift that uses a machine to lift or move heavy objects with pressure okay so uh, there is some hydraulic liquid in it and uh, in one side the pressure is applied okay and on the other side a load is uh, lifted sprinted means ran at a high speed okay ran hastily or ran quickly that is sprinting so coming to before coming to this summary Okay, what I will do is, I will show you the images, then I will go to the rest of the chapter. It is just one more paragraph. Okay, so bear with me. Let me show you the scanned images of Tutankhamun. Okay, I will search in front of you in Google. Here is the scanned image of King Tutankhamun. You can see this is the skull. Okay, so in this way actually they scanned it. So this is how the images come in a CT scan. Okay, uh, more like a 3D X-ray actually. And I will show you how a CT scan machine used uh, was used. So this is how uh, the image CT scan images actually comes out like this. Okay, it's pretty terrifying. And how a CT scan machine looks, I will show you how a CT scan machine looks actually. <clears throat> So 
this is how actually a CT scan machine looks okay uh, this thing uh, this one so what happens here actually here the body is laid okay in this part and it, it it travels from this part to this part okay it actually uh, intersects this hollow thing and uh, powerful x-rays actually intersect the body from all the sides okay from all the sides powerful x-ray actually intersect the body which creates a kind of three-dimensional image okay it creates a three-dimensional image you can see this here it is given in this particular picture a three-dimensional image is created when x-ray passes from this particular part actually okay in this way x-ray is uh, used here okay in this kind of directions and a three-dimensional image is created now let's return to the text again So, back in the trailer, a technician pulled up astonishing images of tooth on a computer screen. So, back where in the trailer van, where the CT scan machine and the computer screens were placed, they put up astonishing images of tooth on computer screen. I showed you just that uh, tooth in common images were created. A grey head took shape from a scattering pixels. So, from the scattering pixels, you know what pixels are. Okay that square shaped blurry thing are called pixels so from scattered pixels a complete image formed up and the technician spun and tilted it in every direction neck vertebrae appeared and clearly as an anatomy class other images revealed a hand several views of the rib cage and a transection of the skull but for now the pressure was off Sitting back in his chair, Zahi Hawa smiled, visibly relieved that nothing had gone seriously wrong. I didn't sleep last night, not for a second, he said. I was so worried, but now I think I will go to sleep. This line is very, very important. Why Zahi Hawas was relaxed and he said, what was he worried about and why he thinks he will go to sleep? Okay, let me explain. So, Zahi Hawas, you know that secretary of uh, that... Uh, department of antiquity and in egypt okay so <clears throat> he said he was worried about this scanning of the body of tutankhamun he thought that maybe the body is so damaged that even after ct scanning they will not get proper or clear images okay maybe some parts or body parts will be missing okay maybe the machine will malfunction malfunction because that entire tomb those pyramids are in the middle of the desert not in the middle of a city okay and they were unable to carry the dead body of Tutankhamun to a hospital or something like that and even in 2005 CT scan machines were not that advanced okay like today's okay today we have each and everything has become digital and uh, each and everything runs on an uh, on a uh, OS that is operating system okay and software based things today you can uh, have so in those days okay in 2000 and 2005 when the CT scan machine they thought that maybe this if this machine malfunctioned then they will have to take another date okay they will be unsuccessful this time so Zahi Hawas was very very uncertain that what is going to happen but when Zahi Hawas saw and smiled sitting back in his chair that all the images of Tutankhamun are very clear and all the body parts are available to see, to examine, to research. Okay, he was pretty relaxed and that's why he said that I was so worried. So he was worried that if the CT scan or X-ray will be successful or not. But when it was very successful, he said that now he is relaxed and he will go to sleep. By the time we left the trailer, descending metal stairs to the sandy ground, the wind had stopped. The winter air lay cold and still like death itself in this valley of departed just above the entrance of Tooth Storm. So, this is just a final line or the concluding line that when the author, this uh, archaeologist, when this came out of the...
uh, the uh, trailer van okay where that machine and computers are kept they saw that everything is perfectly still it is cold outside okay so <clears throat> now we will have the word meanings okay stood orion the constellation that the egypt uh, ancient egyptians knew as the soul of osiris and the god of the afterlife watching over the uh, boy king so they where i can find this constellation of orion i just read it okay okay let's leave it uh, so stood orion means the constellation of ancient egypt what is a constellation i will show you of course i uh, i have the option to show you in the image uh, google image okay so i am going to google it constellation of orion and you will be see able to see it okay constellation of orion this is the constellation of orion okay here actually constellation means a group of stars okay which actually forms a kind of image in our imagination so egyptian considered that osiris the god of death he is watching over this valley watching over the boy king okay who is lying dead as a mummy okay so god of uh, Os god of death osiris is looking so in naked eye you will be able to see this in the sky in a clear sky it looks somewhat like this okay now if you join those dots okay you can imagine that it looks somewhat like a fighter okay somewhat like a god holding a shield here okay and a club in his hand and this is the body so that's how the constellation looks this is the constellation of the orion coming astonishing means amazing pixel means is a single point in a graphic image so in any computerized image the single point is called a pixel so a lot of pixels together form a complete image span means to turn around to rotate something vertebra means a series of small bones which form a backbone so the our spinal cord is constructed by vertebral columns small bones which constructs our spinal cord now uh, coming to the questions and answers so let this be your homework still i am discussing this so this is your homework you will be sending me pdf in the whatsapp group after solving all the ncrt questions give reasons for the following king tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny what is the reason for that yes king tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny because of his history his treasures which he was buried with and to know the reason behind his death so the it is it is quite normal that the researchers were very much intrigued and curious about the cause of death of king tutankhamun so that's why his body was disturbed a lot of time next comes howard carter's investigation was resented why howard resented means it uh, was unscientific it was not liked howard carter's investigation was resented because of his unscientific methods to cut off of his body from the tomb he also focused more on tut's wealth and on to solve the mystery of tut's life and death so howard carter his way of research was very unscientific in those days he actually Uh, dissected the body of king tutankhamun okay it should have been saved in a proper way it should have been restored in a proper way but howard carter didn't do that carter had a chisel had to chisel away the solidified resins to raise the king's remains this you will be able to do on your own so i am not going to answer this you know that uh, king tutankhamun's body was uh, pretty much stuck okay like a gum with the uh, because of the resins and everything so his body had to be chiseled away from the uh, coffin next comes 
Tooth's body was buried along with gilded treasures. You also know the reason why he Tutankhamun's body was but buried with treasures. So this one also you will be able to answer. Well, question number two, I am giving you as homework. You can find the answer here, but still you do it in your copy. And also this one, the results of the CT scan. So I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm giving you answers. Actually, you can copy it. You will be pausing this video and copy it in your own copies in your classwork copies. Okay. So advanced technology gives us conclusive evidence of past events. Uh, why and what? Okay. Then traditions, rituals and funerary practices must be respected. Knowledge about the past is useful to complete our knowledge of the world we live in. Thinking about language, this is right now not needed. So uh, up to question number four here of your NCERT book, that is your textbook, you will do it in your classwork copy. So thank you. I'm concluding this chapter, uh, Discovery uh, of King Tutankhamun. Okay, so I will move on to the next chapter in my next video.